This morning I'd like to show a magnetically levitated motor that I've built running off that small solar panel which is from a uh, one of these garden lights. The unusual thing about this motor is the way I've designed the uh, circuit that drives the solenoid coil allows this motor to actually run on six tenths of a volt at 0.295 milliamps which gives you 0.177 milliwatts of power to run this motor. Uh, to get the voltages that low, I have to use a normal power supply. But it will run continuous on that voltage. I'm not sure what voltage it is now because you know, I don't have a voltmeter connected to it. But you can see how close the solenoid coil is to the rotating magnets. And underneath the coil there's a spacer, and if I put a thinner spacer there, then I can run it on normal uh, voltages. Uh, I run it up to 5 volts, and it ex spins extremely fast at that uh, voltage. The coil itself is based on lid motor specifications, which is 75 feet of number 26 wire, magnet wire, and 200 feet of number 30 magnet wire. And it's wound on an old uh, solder spool, a uh, plastic spool that solder was wound on. The magnets themselves, I have them set up so that the polarization is north towards the center of the motor and on the shaft. And the reason for doing that is that the way the coil is wound, north comes out of the top of the coil, north pole, when it's uh, pulsed with the electrical circuit. So uh, by doing that, it allows the field to be sort of neutral in the middle because they, the two uh, uh, sets of magnets uh, pose each other the, uh, that are mounted on the frame. And that allows me to uh, run the motor with less power to make the motor rotate when the, the rotating magnets is in a more neutral field. And I have a website where I'm going to explain all this and even how to build the motor. Uh, let me show you the uh, circuit at one end, although it's not going to show you the schematic, but you'll see there's really not that much to it. That little circuit board uh, has the uh, drive circuit. It's similar to the uh, Bedini uh, drive with the, uh, the one coil in the collector which drives the magnets and then a feedback coil for the base. But the way I bias the uh, circuit allows it to run at much lower voltages. And it's very easy to start. It takes a very small spin of uh, the shaft to get it going. And you might notice this aluminum ring at one end of the, uh, the free end of the shaft. The reason I did that is because most of these motors are a little out of balance. And when they're turning very slow, they'll reach a resonant point and the end of the shaft starts bouncing up and down and it can get so violent that the uh, shaft will actually jump out of the magnetic field uh, from the stationary magnets. The shaft falls off to one side. By having that aluminum, a short piece of aluminum tube there, when it starts bouncing up and down it induces eddy currents into the aluminum which counteracts the bouncing of the rotating magnet and it makes it very stable. And it also keeps it from falling off to one side if I hit it with my hand. So, that's the end of the display for today.